The Business of Credit Cards, Lesson 1, A Simplified Look at the Authorization Process. In this video, I'll give you a simplified high-level overview of the credit card authorization process. I'll use a basic scenario. This is where a customer is making a purchase in person at a physical store and is paying for a purchase with his credit card. Now, in most situations, when someone pays in person with a credit card, the transaction happens in two phases. The first phase is called the authorization phase. The second phase is called the clearing and settlement phase. These two phases happen at different times in the process. The authorization phase happens at the point of sale. It isn't until the end of the day, or maybe even if after a few days, until the second phase starts. In subsequent lessons, I'll discuss both the authorization phase and the clearing and settlement phase in depth. But for the purpose of this lesson, I'm only going to give you a high-level overview of the authorization phase and only keep it focused on a credit card payment made by a customer in person at a physical store or business. There are other credit card payment scenarios. The most common is the in-person, in-the-store scenario. But some of the other common scenarios are paying for a purchase over the phone, paying for a purchase while online, or paying for a purchase through the mail. In this course, I'll cover all the scenarios, but in this lesson, I'm only going to discuss the most common scenario. In general, the goal and objectives of the authorization process doesn't differ much from scenario to scenario. The big difference is in how the card member data and purchase data is initially communicated from the customer to the merchant and secondly where and how that data flows from the merchant to the merchant's financial institution. The entities involved in approving a credit card transaction are the cardholder, the merchant, the merchant's bank also known as the acquirer, the credit card association networks, and the cardholder's bank also known as the issuer. Step 1. The merchant sells some merchandise to the cardholder who wants to pay with a credit card. Step 2. The merchant sends an authorization request to the merchant's bank. Step 3. Using a card association network, the merchant's bank sends an authorization request message to the cardholder's bank. Step 4. The cardholder's bank receives the authorization request message. Step 5. The cardholder's bank processes the authorization request. It's at this point in the process where the customer's bank wants to make sure that the card itself is a good card, it's a valid credit card, and two, that the customer does have enough money in his account to pay for the purchase. Step 6. Using the card association network, the cardholder's bank sends an authorization approval response to the merchant's bank. Step 7. The merchant's bank routes the authorization approval response to the merchant's point-of-sale terminal. Then Step 8. The merchant's point-of-sale terminal prints a sales receipt for the customer to sign. 